So my wife and I decided that this weekend we're gonna give the kids all of the summer activities we could in one singular weekend. It's gonna be jam packed full of stuff. And first up, camping. And I told the kids that we could do some camping. We could do some backyard camping. Got a canopy because my wife bought this sweet tent that hooks right up to one of those canopies. All right, let's do this. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Here I am. Grab them and take them back. We'll take them back by the bag. Heading down the south to the land of the pines I'm thumbing my way into North Carolina Staring up the road, pray to God I see headlights I made it down the coast in 17 hours Pick me up a bouquet of dogwood flowers And I'm hoping for a rally, I can see my baby tonight So rock me mama like a wagon wheel Rock me mama any way you feel Hey, mama rock me So rock me mama like the wind and the rain Rock me mama like a southbound train Hey, mama rock me And there we go, now we're ready to camp that canopy that just, the tent just like hooks right up onto it and then you just lift the canopy and the whole thing goes whoop right up. Perfect, makes it so much easier. All right, come on, tent tour, crib style, let's go. Oh, look at this, nice two room tent. Look at the kids got a little table set up so they can eat lunch out here. All right, show us the rooms, come on. How spacious are they? Everett's doing you still can't decide what room he wants? It's still here. This is a room. <laughs> They're pretty small, huh? And this is another room. All right. AKA me, Everett, and Oscar's bedroom, Everett. <laughs> all right, man, we're all set to camp tonight. We just gotta get some uh, blow up mattresses because we're glamping a little bit. Glamping. Okay, I'll just finish reading this chapter and then I'll stop, okay? Okay, uh. Oh. Between Mike and Jay, I could see them clearly now. They were wolves or wildcats oh, of some you? sort. Standing upright, they were nearly three feet tall. They had slender, almost scrawny bodies, covering spotty red brown fur. Ghost had... stories to end the night. And off we go to the parade. Sometimes I feel bad like my wife and I like we know we're cursed when it comes to luck but to see it like almost like projected onto our children kind of makes me sad so we're at the parade right and you know everybody's they're coming by they're throwing candy they're throwing candy and here our kids are sitting patiently well behaved on the curb not running out into the street or nothing and uh you know here comes the candy it goes to that side of my kids it goes to that side of my kids but nothing actually went to my kids and I was like you know 
That is just like the luck my wife and I have. It reminds me of this time we went to Johnny Rockets in Brampton, Ontario. And uh, we got seated in the restaurant. And we waited about 35 minutes. And nobody came over to take our drink order or a food order. Nobody like acknowledged that they actually sat us down at a table. Uh, and we were just like, what the heck is going on? We tried to flag a waiter down. And uh, they just... I mean, we were like invisible, completely invisible to them. And uh, yeah, so we ended up leaving and we went somewhere else. I remember that. Uh, but I was like, you know, like that's, my wife and I, we feel like that a lot. Like we are the invisible people in the world. And uh, I was kind of bummed to see my kids just like, like I swear, it was like they didn't exist. They were just candy would go to one side, candy would go to the other side, but none of it actually landed like in front of them for them to, to have, you know? So. Uh, that was a little bit of a bummer, but the parade was still a good parade, and then we made up for it because we gave the kids a little treat when we got home. We had a popcorn and a movie uh, to settle in the hot, hot afternoon because it was crazy hot. While the kids enjoy an afternoon movie that cool down from all the heat, I'm going to work on making some garlic scape powder, and I'll be doing this in an upcoming video, so stay tuned. Are you guys ready to go see fireworks? Yeah! By the time we get there, it'll be nice and dark. Okay. And the owl won't snow for it, snowball for you. I was gonna say because I'm... Yay, drugs. Drugs. Oh. Yeah. Scarecrow. There it goes. Oh. Ah! take the kids to the zoo it is the last day of our super busy weekend try to give the kids all of summer <laughs> in this last weekend and I'm really starting to feel it just out here checking on the garden everything is looking really nice look at this we got some irises open we got the Shasta daisies opened up now it has been so hot though I have seen something I didn't see all of last year which is my bees bearding a whole bunch I thought I'd show them real quick So all of last year, and I think because of where I placed them, back in this corner where it's kind of cooler, it's a lot more shade, not all the pounding down sun of it. They never really bearded at all last year, but it's been so hot this year that I'm actually seeing them out there beard. Bearding all over that hive. All right, well, here we go. Off to the zoo.
The only way to describe today. Kids only zone. Kids only. Dad, kids only.